Welcome to the video guys. It seems the Ramonas out there have not finished mixing up Brexit with the current human malware that is going around. I'm not using its actual name because talking about something that is happening in the world is something YouTube don't like people talking about. Well anyway, most of you might know the TV host, food writer and chef Nigella Lawson who went on Twitter last night it seems and posted what some considered an ill-judged and offensive tweet relating to Brexit amid the current human malware spread. It's not the first time Brexit has been mixed up with the current situation going on. As my video pointed out yesterday, and we see both Labour and the Lib Dems asking for Brexit to be stopped while this situation is occurring. Her tweet read, I just wonder, have all those take back controllers noticed that countries in Europe have been closing their borders independently, almost as if they had control over them? Which is ridiculous, but we'll get to that in a moment. The Express's article on this story headlines, Nigella Lawson branded offensive for ill-judged Brexit remark amid human malware spread. Nigella Lawson, celebrity chef, author and cooking show host, was berated on Twitter for an offensive and ill-judged comment about Brexit aimed at Leave voters during the current situation we find ourselves in. Which, I have to say, her tweet wasn't really offensive. It's ill-judged and stupid, but not really offensive. Or maybe I just don't find it offensive. Perhaps other people did. It's rather stupid, but I wouldn't go as far as to call it offensive. Nigella Lawson, 60, took to Twitter on Sunday to vent some built-up anger. The celeb chef blasted Brexit supporters who voted to leave the European Union to take back control of the UK. On the social media site, amid the current situation that has caused countries around the world to close their doors to tourists while they try to contain the spread of the situation. Posting her thoughts in view of her 2.6 million followers, the brunette bombshell took a sarcastic swipe at the Leave campaign. I just wonder, have all those take back controllers noticed that countries in Europe have been closing their borders independently, she penned, almost as if they had control over them, like I read out in the tweet at the start of this video. Now, let's go over what she actually said there. The take back controllers noticed that countries in Europe have been closing their borders independently. And while that might be true, it is missing something that will likely follow it, which we have already seen in the case of Italy when they tried to help their tourism industry and got fined by the European Union. It would not surprise me if the EU Commission in Brussels finds all of these European countries who have closed their borders. Like I said, Italy has already been fined for trying to help its tourism industry, so I would not be surprised if the EU doesn't fine every single nation that has closed its borders, including Germany. Because if they don't, I'm sure the people of Italy are going to be very annoyed, and rightly so. Given that they've already fined Italy during this current situation, I'm actually hopeful that Italy will now leave the European Union at some point in the near future. Italy exit after this might well be a thing. The article continues, as with all controversial posts, she was hit with a wave of criticism by Leave voters. Some going as far as branding her offensive for her comments and telling her to think before you tweet. Which, of course, she did afterwards, replying to her own tweet, saying, I'm sorry, just thinking aloud, probably unwise. Certainly ill-judged right now, shouldn't have. No, you shouldn't have, and you should consider your information. Because like I said, it's not beyond the realms of possibilities for the EU to find these nations who have closed their borders. Especially if, as it seems, they've done it unilaterally without the EU's permission. And here we have some of the responses from people on Twitter. Obviously, she deleted this tweet, so we can't pull it up properly. There's just pictures of it, as you can see on the screen. Miss Lawson, really? Like, who are you and what you do? But this is an offensive tweet the fan wrote. It's not really offensive, it's just stupid, but you can take it the way you want to take it. People voted to control borders because under EU directives, the UK had no right to run background checks or control flow. The EU is ignoring the current national closing because it suits them. No, they are not necessarily ignoring it. It's too early for them to have done anything about it. 
They've already fined Italy, like I said, during this situation, so there's no reason why they wouldn't consider doing it for the rest of the countries closing their borders. Another snapped, Nigella, now isn't the time for this. We need to work together to face this fight. And here we have a Remainer. I'm a Remainer, but concerned about getting through all of this, rather than trying to score points against Brexiteers. Yeah, well, that's probably where you differ from her. You're a Remainer, and she's a Remona. The person finished up, please think before you tweet. Someone else also agreed with them. Maybe best to just delete. Pretty poor taste to conflate human malware with Brexit. A couple of hours later, Nigella posted a retracting statement apologising for her comment, realising it was probably unwise to have made it at this time. No, it's unwise to have made it at any time, because it's obviously assuming that the EU won't find these countries or take up a course of action against them for closing their borders. She continued, I'm sorry, just thinking aloud, probably unwise, as I said in the tweet that she posted earlier. Meanwhile, others agreed with her statement wholeheartedly, sharing their support for the TV cook. And you can bet all the Brexiteers will be first in the queue for a vaccine that is discovered and then manufactured in the EU. Hypocrites, one exclaimed. Well, considering the United States actually makes more drugs than the EU, and we make our own drugs here, it's very likely that it could be made there or here, rather than the European Union. I love how these Ramonas think the EU is some bastion of everything, and they can provide you with most goods, when actually, they import most other things from other countries. Like us. The stupidity of these people is incredible. Another said, don't worry, they've already moved on to using the crisis as proof freedom of movement is dangerous. Well, that's kind of obvious, isn't it? If there is something like this going on, then freedom of movement is not going to make it easy to stop it. Sometimes I despair when it comes to my fellow humans, I really do. I don't despair, I just pity you Ramonas, that is all it is. We should rejoin now, same terms as before, a third pleaded. <laughs> Suck on some eggs mate, it ain't gonna happen. You have to laugh at these people, it's incredible. Brace yourself for people who think cooks shouldn't have opinions about anything other than cooking, a fourth quipped. No, she can have her opinion, and she rightly got raked over the coals for it, and deleted her tweet, retracted her statement, and said sorry. Others insisted that she tell that to your dad, as the chef is the daughter of Nigel Lawson, a former Conservative Chancellor of the Exchequer and Brexit supporter. Yeah, well, he's not the government, so he couldn't do anything even if she went crying to daddy. But as per usual, the Ramonas haven't finished, and they will literally use everything they can to attack Brexit. We've even seen the Extinction Rebellion lunatics can take on the human malware situation. It's really getting pathetic how these people use this to their advantage when it comes to their political agenda. Now, before I go, I've started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you would like to come and join me for a live stream to chat in real time, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or just want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link will be down in the video description below, and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar, and YouTube members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell, and share this video as it helps the channel a lot, and I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>